So it's now been 19 years since the United States of America and Britain, yeah, along yeah. with their allies, yeah, yeah, invaded yeah. Iraq. On my orders, coalition All right, forces cool, have been striking so I got the targets to get the extra flab. All the niggas be asking for help, but they won't give me the drugs they dealt. Without UN security council approval in what was an illegal war, a regime change in the country resulted in a million lives being lost, and many other millions having to flee their country, and has led to an Iraq today late with extremism, sectarianism, and corruption. Not only that, U.S. forces are still there on the ground in Iraq in their thousands. Quick. And on top of that, Yo, last man, year, NATO beat. announced that it was expanding like its, its own mission to 4,000 personnel Indeed, in the beat. country. The Today, we decided to expand the mission of this year with the Pan in Iraq. The size of our mission will increase from 500 personnel to around 4,000. Today, Iraq is still in a constant Yo. state of fear and instability, all because lies, the United States, lies, Britain, and its allies invaded like based upon a pack of lies. The WMD existed in Iraq, which it didn't. We know that Saddam Hussein is determined to keep his weapons I'm living bummy and they trying to bum off me. What the fuck war. is this? Now today it's well known Man, that the war in Iraq nice. was a bad idea, fancy. at the very least, Worth and would be condemned by most tonight. people in the West. But that wasn't the case when it occurred. In fact, on the day that the invasion was Yo, launched, let me tell y'all something. public support was y'all better to be higher than 70% in favor of the war. Not only this, but Western media were complicit in portraying the invasion of Iraq as a liberation of Iraq. I want you dead. You got a sign on your face. Says this is the place to insert lead. You think an apology can get rid of this? I'm sick of this. I'ma fuck you like a motherfucking clitoris. Shit. Y'all can't stop me when I bring the priest out in the meanwhile waiting for the weed to get here so we don't drink some beer. Yeah. Gonna do the drugs in the brain. And make you go insane, feel no pain, forces, get rid of all the time. Including in situations where the Indeed, United States yeah. was actively accused of striking a maternity hospital ran by the Red yo, Crescent, yo, yo. causing a massacre in Baghdad. The West I got a CD and a DVD, it's and it's all full of tracks. Drive of so that's my Firewire drive full of crap. Last time I played Quake 2, I got a hundred frags. You think I let my game breathe? Nigga, please! See, you say you know how to hack, but she, you still be using a Mac. <laughs> As they walk around, I see all the niggas smoking their bongs and all the Asians talking about their chicha chongs. Yo, yo, I see your nasty ass girlfriend and she's wearing a thong. You know she's more obese than Fat Joe in his now last two songs. Yo, well, and it's yo, that was vicious. Many yo, examples of the very same thing being FX said on the MIC. And sure, afterwards, many of these the news outlets offered white right apologies MIC. and sometimes Didn't formal you know apologies for their coverage of the Iraq war after there were no weapons of mass destruction found, no links with Al Qaeda, Saddam Hussein made, and it turned out that the entire country was ruined on a pack of lies. Shot to take her hundred dollars and I'm not going to use this place. But beyond mainly soft the apologies, place, which were really not apologies at all, we didn't get any accountability in the West yeah. when it came to the leadership which committed these war crimes. Yeah. Yeah. For Yo, I want to give, give a shout out to Ed Tex, Raptor, the Quake, and Sarge the Vodka right here. Yo, props to St. Kong for the beat. Oh, the girls. a large amount of money and many of you. And also to the Western television and the BBC on a regular basis to talk on a radio of talk. Yo, this way, much love to all my niggas who say, you know what I mean? All the niggas is an SOG, keep it real, a better life. Then we have the example of former US President George W. Bush Jr., who, by the way, got elected after waging the Iraq War. And now his image is really being revived. And last year was able to go on a tour around America talking to audiences about his own leadership. When Mr. Bush and Mrs. Obama hold hands and swayed to the music. I have to wake the fuck up in the morning. My 
I say it's hard for any accountability for clear violations of international law, and now more than ever, these figures are actually being celebrated and still listened to despite the war crimes which they are accused of committing. Just take the example of Congolese rights who was brought onto Fox News to talk about how invading another sovereign country is a war crime. All of this is to say that the propaganda machine, which is manufacturing consent for war and advocacy for one side or another, is very much still in play. And it is the same media now which celebrates the likes of launching missiles into Syria a few years ago. Making what is for them a brief flight over to this airfield. Which is supposed to be educating Western audiences as to how they should perceive world events and geopolitics. Wake up, and presents clear double standards when it is reported on the wars waged by the enemies of the West. And wars waged by the West itself. We live in the world of 1984. Our societies move towards a brave new world. Science we are told is the unbiased fact totally denies the existence of a soul. True that, man is viewed similar to an animal, in some ways given less rights than the cattle. And to the elite, the biggest threat ever is an independent and intelligent free thinker. So the agenda to dumb us down goes further, and the antidote to the attack is called Gun. ganja. It even decrees the chance you get cancer from all the chemicals that they push on ya. Like the BPA, melting the balls right off ya. Uh.